guys let us look at the classification of the drugs for cough okay we want to look at the drugs for cough only four categories are there don't worry pharyngeal demulsants pharyngeal demulsants like uh, lozenges cough drops syrup glycerin licorice okay will you be able to write this definitely you will write cough think of cough the first thing that comes to your head strepsils lozenges correct then let's go a little more ahead expectorants expectorants which will increase the secretion of the bronchial bronchus that is the bronchial secretion enhancers then you have the mucolytics two parts are there here you got it right mucolytics and bronchial secretion enhancers these two are coming under what category in expectorants okay expectorants you are getting this mucokinetics so you'll have bronchial secretion enhancers like vasaka potassium citrate potassium iodide ammonium chloride gua gua e phenesin this is that only gua e phenesin this is that only this drug expectorant looks like <clears throat> when i typed expectorant in the google i got this image so looks like this gu guai finesin looks important balsam of tolu vasaka ammonium chloride then coming to mucolytics bromhexene lytic bromhexene acetylcysteine carbocysteine okay extra etc you can read we are leaving here and there some things right antitussives antitussives what are what antitussives they suppress the cough center so you have opioids opioids means first thing that comes to your mind is morphine right ethyl morphine codeine folcodeine then you have non opioid drugs like noscapine again that is n o n o non opioid no scapine right dextromethafran all that if you want you can read antihistamines chlorpheniramine chlorpheniramine you should know very commonly prescribed chlorpheniramine promethazine is an antihistamine you know already right H1 antihistaminic, it going, it's going to be highly sedative. Then, and adjuvant antitussives like bronchodilators, like salbutamol, terbutalin, adjuvants. These are these are not only antitussives, tussives. They are adjuvant antitussives, right? Let's take a recap. Drugs for cough. pharyngeal demulsants 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 lozenges cough drop syrup glycerin licorice expect sorry expectorants mucokinetics bronchial excretion enhancers like gua e phenesin potassium iodide potassium citrate ammonium chloride vasaka mucolytics brom hexene acetylcysteine carbocysteine antitussives cough center suppressants codeine ethyl morphine folcodeine these are all opioids non opioids are noscapine then you have antihistamines like chlorpheniramine promethazine then you have the adjuvant antitussives you have the salbutamol terbutalin which you can use in asthma also it's time for revision secret open book revision yes come on tell me drugs for cough what did you learn first pharyngeal f a r y n g e l pharyngeal demulsants check the spelling s l a c e n t s pharyngeal demulsants in the okay let's give you the higher groups first expectorants then you have three anti to sieves these are cough center suppressants then four you have add adjuvant anti to sieves pharyngeal demulsants you have lozenges syrup cough drop glycerin then you have licorice licorice correct lozenges cough drops linctus containing syrup 
glycerin and liquor rice that's correct coming to expectorants and the expectorants you have two groups bronchial secretion enhancers under this you have and one more group first of the category higher category then you have mucolytics expectorants are also called as mucokinetics correct very good Bronchial secretion enhancers, the one we got from Google, what was that? Guaifenesin. Then you have potassium iodide, potassium citrate, ammonium chloride, and then you have vasaka, right? Coming to mucolytics, let's move on to mucolytics now. Are you able to see? Mucolytics. Mucolytics, you have benz, benz, brom, brom, bromhexene. Why this is important? Bromhexene, mucolytic, hexene. Then you have acetyl cysteine carbo cysteine one one time i one one time e y whatever they want they are writing acetyl cysteine carbo cysteine spellings are different then you have to remember and write not you should not depend on us antitussives come on can you write antitussives Antitussives, just let's make some space, not enough space. Okay, we are ready for antitussives. Do you remember cough center suppressions, opioids? Opioids, remember the spelling of opioids, O-P-I-O-I-D-S. Yes, O-P-I-O-I-D-S. Under that you have codeine. Folcodine, ethyl morphine, then you have non opioids, noscapine, noscapine, dextromethorphan, dextromethorphan. That's also a non-opioid. Know where it belongs. It's an orphan. Dextromethorphan. Then antihistamines. Let's move on to antihistamines. Guys still is there. So please bear with us. Okay. We are revising. Dextromethorphan. Then you have antihistamines. Under that you have chlorpheniramine. Chlorpheniramine is important guys. You might land up prescribing it also. <clears throat> Phenyramine. Okay. Then promethazine. Then you have and adjuvant antitussives, bronchodilators like salbutamol. Then you have terbutalin. Ter. Terbutalin. Terbutalin. Bronchodilators. So we are done with uh, drugs for cough. Thanks for bearing with us. No more coughing. Bye bye.